the length of the diagonal of the base of a container is d meters. Now this is a container. Uh, this is the diagonal d. And we want to show that the height, which is h, is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of d squared over minus phi over phi. So what are the other information that we have? We know that the width, this is the width. The width is given to be h plus 3. And the length is, and the length is 2h plus 1. So we want to find the relationship between h and d. That's ultimately what we want to do. So what can you see? Suppose if you draw, if you look at this triangle, what is that you can see? I want you to look at this triangle. Which theorem pops out to you? Or which, which theorem is visible here? Yeah. So this is your width and this is your length and this is the diagonal D. So I hope you can see this is a right angle triangle. So using Pythagoras, I can say uh, h plus 3 the whole squared plus 2h plus 1 the whole squared is equal to d squared. So this is a relationship between h and d and ultimately we want to say h is equal to this. So let's expand this. So this is h plus 3 times h plus 3. Now one mistake that students generally make is when they see this, they write h squared plus 9, which is not right. Because you will see that when you expand this writing in two brackets, you will not make this mistake. So it's good practice to write it like this, is equal to d squared. So let me expand. So let me use a different color. So now this is h plus 3, h plus 3 times h plus 3. So I hope you can see the expansion. This is h squared plus 3h plus 3h. Let me do the whole expansion plus 9. So this is this term plus this is 2h times 2h, which is 4h squared plus 2h times 1 is 2h plus 2h plus 1. So this is the second term is equal to d squared. So let's simplify the first term. So this is h squared plus 6h plus 9. This is what I was saying, that this don't write h squared plus 9, because this is h plus 3 times h plus 3, plus 4h squared plus 4h plus 1 is equal to d squared. It's a very slow process, so let's simplify the left-hand side. So this is h squared plus h squared, which is 5h, 5h squared, 5h squared. Then you got 6h plus 4h, which is 10h. And then you got 9 plus 1, which is plus 10, is equal to d squared. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 5 because you've got 5 here, you've got 5 here, you've got 10 here. So you can divide by 5, you can divide by 5. So you can also divide this by 5 or you should divide by 5. So this becomes h squared plus 2h plus 2 is equal to d squared over 5. Now this is a step, the next step is a bit crucial where you'd need to write this as a quadratic equation. So this is 2h squared plus 2h plus 2 minus d squared over 5 is equal to 0. So this has become a quadratic equation. So now is equal to 0, not a, sorry. This is equal to 0. So now we're going to compare this with the quadratic formula. Let me write the quadratic formula. The general form of a quadratic formula is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So when you compare this with this, what can we say? We can say a is, what is a? a you can compare with 1 because 1 is sitting with h squared. So a is 1, your b is 2h, your b is this 2. Sorry, it's not 2h, it is only 2. 
because here you can compare your h with your variable is your h your height okay so your you can compare your x with h a with 1 b with 2 and your c is this whole thing the c is this whole thing so your c is 2 minus 2 minus d squared over 5 Okay, now we're going to use a quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. This formula would be given in your formula sheet. Okay, and uh, it's a good formula to remember. Okay, so let's just substitute this value a, b, and c into this. So here, yeah, in place of x, we should be writing h because we are x is replaced by h. So your h is equal to minus b is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared which is 4 minus 4 times a is 1 and your b is 2 minus 2 minus d squared over 5 over 2 times a which is 2. So let's simplify this. So this is minus 2 plus or minus. You can factor the 4 out. So let me factor first the 4 out inside the inside the radical. So this is 4 times 1 minus 2 plus d squared over 5. Now this is where you have to be very careful. How did they get this plus? Because this minus makes this minus plus over two okay so if you fact if you take this out of the radical this will become two outside so this is minus two plus or minus two times square root of one minus two plus d squared over five this is plus d squared over five over two okay so now this is a bit of algebra so your h, you can say h. So you can factor the 2 out. So if you factor the 2 out, it will become minus 1 plus or minus square root of, this will become d squared over 5 minus 1 over 2. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So this is equal to, or this implies, h is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of can I write this as d squared over 5 and 1 I can write as minus 5 over 5 so your h is ultimately plus or minus uh, sorry the h is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of d squared now the denominators are same so you can write d squared minus phi over phi and that's what was expected and that's what was to be proved your height in terms of your d is minus one plus or minus d squared minus phi over phi 